Turning now to the Trump presidency, where the conversation about race continues following President Trump's tweets last week. The tweets told four congresswomen known as the squad to go back from where they came. CBS's Katherine Johnson is on Capitol Hill with a fallout and a look at how Americans are responding in a new CBS News poll. Relationship. President Trump is staying on the offensive against four Democratic Congresswomen known as the Squad. This morning, he tweeted, The Squad is a very racist group of troublemakers who are young, inexperienced, and not very smart. So bad for our country. They're pulling the Democrats way left. Nobody knows how to handle them. I feel they're easy to handle. To me, they're easy to handle because they're just out there. They're very bad for our country, absolutely. The president's tweet last week telling the women of color to go back from where they came has sparked conversations about race in America. No, no, no racial tension. No, no, there's no racial tension. Look, I had my best numbers recently, and it's because of the economy and what I've done for the African American. A new CBS News poll finds an overwhelming majority of Americans see the country as divided along racial lines. Nearly 9 in 10 Americans, 87% of poll respondents, say the country is divided along racial lines. A really dangerous ideology that's about othering people, dehumanizing others. And we have to continue to fight back. When asked specifically about the president's go back tweet, 48% said they describe it as racist. 34% said it was not racist. Katherine Johnson, CBS News, Capitol Hill. 59% of Americans in the CBS News poll say they disagree with the president's tweet, but four out of five Republicans say, uh, which is 82%, say they agree with the content of his tweet. Look for much more on President Trump and the Trump presidency tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.